This morning in the road home, we are talking about the Rhode Island State Police's next training academy with Detective Kyle Shibley and Trooper Crystal Carvalho, along with Nairobi, of course, Ron and Peter Cardi from Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see everybody. We shall get to two of Rhode Island's finest in just a moment. But of course, Ron, we shall open up with you. You and Pete also two of Rhode Island's finest. I think we could designate you guys I don't know right, about that. <laughs> right there. But <laughs> let's really discuss the, what this is all about. You know, recruitment time for the Rhode Island State Police. They are, it's that time again, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, and through the years, we've been honored to work with the Rhode Island State Police on a bunch of different things. Their annual 5K pursuit in Narragansett, Toys for Tots, an impossible dream. They just do a phenomenal amount of work, all along with the, uh, the kids with health challenges, uh, along with other events to benefit the Rhode Island Troopers Association. And now we're happy to help out with the recruitment for their newest training academy. So we look forward to it and they do such great work. We want to do everything we can do to help. They really do. We always love when we can put the spotlight on the awesome work that they are doing with some of those events that you just mentioned, of course, which turns us over to uh, Detective Shibley. Let's talk about what we need to know about your recruitment efforts. For somebody watching today, they're very interested. What do we need to know, sir? Yeah, so we are currently hiring. Our application process ends on June 6th. Um, applicants must be between the ages of 18 and 35 years old. They must possess a valid driver's license, must be a United States citizen, and have a high school diploma or a GED. Uh, our website explains in detail what applicants should expect during this hiring process to include a list of dates for the upcoming physical fitness tests, the written test, the oral interview process, the background investigation. It also has a study guide and um, training tips and a lot more. For you, Trooper Carvalho, let's talk about any advice you might give to people who are looking to apply or, or take or want to join the force. Advice is something that you would definitely need in order to get through this academy. Um, the first thing that I would say is attempt to be mentally prepared before you, um, you know, get there. And we also have a couple of things that we do um, and that we've implemented in order to help people. Um, because as you know, or may not know, our training academy is a 24 week live-in academy. Um, so it goes from Sundays to Fridays. Um, and it's live in. Um, the curriculum within our academy is um, very difficult um, and it's very high pressure. So you're getting the notion of what it's like to be out there serving the state of Rhode Island. Um, so getting to the point that I was making about us helping new recruits, right. we've implemented a five week mentorship program this actually happens prior to the training academy and it focuses on the physical agility assessments and portion um, as well as basic military drill and swimming instruction and this allows candidates to um, to be able to get a glimpse of what it's actually going to be like in our academy yeah. so i would definitely say anyone who wants to um, or is interested should definitely look forward to that yeah, they need to be prepared. This is a great opportunity. And Pete, you guys, longtime supporters of the Rhode Island State Police, they are working so hard day in and day out. We really do to keep us safe, and we can't thank them enough and help them support them. You know, Colonel Manny, along with Detective Shibley, and Trooper Carvalho, even Captain Jones, and everyone else involved. You know, and the other things is really cool. We were talking to Detective Shibley before. Uh, you know, everyone uh, arrives at the State Police, becomes a trooper, is on the road, and everybody's familiar with that. But they also do a lot behind the scenes in uh, computer surveillance work, uh, IT. There's so many different opportunities beyond that uh, that they can grow into. And uh, so it's a wonderful opportunity in law enforcement. And as you said, the best and the finest is the Rhode Island State Police. 100%. Uh, Trooper Carvalho, Detective Chipley, thank you so much for being with us. Pete, always a pleasure as well. If you guys out there would like to sign up for the next Rhode Island State Police Training Academy to learn more, just visit roadshow.com. This is a great opportunity, like we were saying, and click on the Road Home channel.